Hi friends, welcome back to Cadible. This is Engineer Ibrahim Amar and today I'll show you how to make a flow simulation of a cylinder and this will be an external flow. So first of all, we'll make a basic geometry of cylinder using uh, parameters and the parameters are given here, right? The diameter will be 0.2 and the length of the cylinder is uh, 0.03 and uh, then uh, we'll use uh, some basic uh, uh, some basic uh, uh, some basic parameters like working medium will be air uh, Reynolds number will be 10 and the uh, dynamic viscosity would be this the temperature is uh, 20 degree 20.2 which is 293.2 uh, Kelvin uh, the density of uh, air is uh, <coughs> uh, the, uh, the density of air uh, will be 1.23 kilograms per meter cube and we'll calculate velocity from Reynolds number and uh, uh, it will be a point triple zero seven and i'll show you how uh, i calculate this right so uh, first of all uh, let's say uh, we'll start let's go to new and uh, go to part select okay and now we are in solidworks interface i'm using solidworks 2020 and uh, it will take some time uh, okay so we are in SOLIDWORKS interface and uh, let's say first of all I'll change my background to plain white and uh, then I'll go to add-ins and uh, make sure to check this box uh, SOLIDWORKS flow simulation and click OK and uh, now I'll go to uh, one of uh, these planes that is uh, front plane and uh, it is taking some time to load so uh, select sketch and we'll make a basic uh, circle so make a circle and uh, the dimension is uh, let's say the uh, diameter is 0.2 meter so uh, i'll go to smart dimension and uh, i'll make it uh, 0 0.2 0 0.2 and uh, a small m which is meter and uh, which is equal to 200 millimeter remember i'm using mmgs uh, so i can change this but i think it's okay uh, next is uh, uh, sketch is uh, fully defined as you can see from here and here as well that is sketch is turned into black uh, it is very simple so go to features now i'll go to extrude boss and uh, i'll extrude it up to uh, let's say 0 0.03 meters and i'll use this option mid plane so the extrusion will be in both sides and i'll make it uh, 0 0.03 meters which is 30 millimeter click OK and now the basic geometry is done and we'll make a flow simulation around this uh, uh, cylinder and it will be an external flow right uh, so uh, let's uh, let's go to uh, add-ins uh, oh, uh, I have already added this so let's go to flow simulation and let's go to wizard and uh, so first of all i have to save my document and let's say i'll change it to uh, okay part one is fine uh, part one is fine and uh, let's make it flow flow simulation right uh, so uh, the model is saved and now i can go to wizard and uh, i'll make my basic uh, project study uh, I can name this project to uh, let's say uh, external flow or uh, uh, something you like let's say uh, uh, let's make it uh, project one uh, let's make it uh, uh, project one and uh, now I'll click this box next and now I can select uh, units so uh, the uh, predefined is this uh, meters kilogram second so I think it's fine you can change it uh, and the uh, it will be up to you click next and now it is asking us that uh, the flow is internal or external so this is external flow so I'll check this uh, and I'm not going into the details of these that is radiation or uh, transient flow 
uh, uh, gravity rotation so i'm not going to check this box click next and now it is asking us the uh, the medium and uh, here the medium is air so i'll go to uh, gases and i'll uh, double click this air and uh, the uh, air is added uh, you can make uh, uh, laminar only uh, turbulent only or a laminar and tur uh, turbulent mix so i'll go with uh, laminar and uh, turbulent right uh, click next and uh, here it is asking uh, the uh, boundary wall conditions and i think it's uh, adiabatic wall uh, is fine right uh, and uh, i uh, i'll not add any roughness you can add uh, roughness uh, to your model uh, click next and uh, uh, these are the basic uh, parameters and here one parameter is missing which is uh, velocity and i will add some velocity in x direction so i'll go to uh, here and uh, here uh, we have uh, uh, renault number 10 dynamic viscosity is constant which is uh, uh, here is point uh, tetra 0181 pascal second the temperature is 20.2 uh, degree centigrade or 293.2 kelvin the density is 1.23 and velocity is uh, <coughs> point triple zero seven sorry uh, from the north number and i'll show you how i uh, calculate this uh, it is very simple and uh, here is the formula uh, renault number is nothing but uh, rho times v times d Somet uh, sometimes you write it as uh, u and sometimes it you write as uh, you write it as v right uh, okay so uh, this is the basic formula uh, rho times v times uh, a diameter divided by uh, dynamic viscosity and uh, we know the Reynolds number is 10 uh, dynamic viscosity is uh, we know uh, that is uh, uh, point uh, uh, this point tetra 0181 and uh, we know the diameter and we don't know this u or v right this velocity and we know all these parameters right so uh, if you take out this uh, if you take uh, if you multiply the Reynolds number with this and uh, 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 this diameter with this uh, so you will left uh, with this right and uh, uh, you can calculate this uh, by simple uh, uh, multiplication right so uh, i'll not uh, make this uh, step uh, right so uh, here uh, after uh, uh, after calculating uh, uh, you will uh, uh, calculate this point uh, triple zero seven three five uh, etc but uh, uh, i will only take this point triple zero seven meter per second right from the lord summer so uh, it is very easy so i'll go to uh, this velocity in x direction and uh, uh, double click this and i'll make it point triple zero seven meter per second right and click finish uh, after creating this uh, these boundary conditions i go to goals that is the output i required from the solidworks Let's go to goals and let's insert uh, global goals and uh, I'll check this box. Uh, remember, uh, uh, I want this uh, drag force and drag coefficient. So I'll go to force and uh, force and force in X direction. Uh, remember, I have applied velocity in X direction. So force will be in X direction, right? Uh, the drag force will be in X direction. Click this box, click OK. Uh, and now. Uh, I'll go to goals again and this time I'll go to insert equation and I'll make uh, the uh, drag uh, coefficient equation click OK and uh, now uh, first of all I'll rename this so let's make it uh, CD which is a drag coefficient with no unit remember it is a dimensionless number uh, so uh, just click this and th this is the drag force and uh, the uh, formula is very simple uh, drag coefficient is 2 times uh, drag force divided by density times area times square of the velocity so I'll go to SOLIDWORKS again and uh, let's make it uh, this multiply by 2 and I'll make a bracket right and it will be uh, divided by uh, it will be divided by the density and uh, the density is 1.23 uh, kilograms per meter square uh, multiply by the velocity and the velocity is uh, uh, point triple uh, zero seven uh, square so okay uh, multiply by the area and the area of the circle is uh, pi r square so pi is here and i'll not put 3.14 uh, i can uh, use this uh, pi 
times r square so the uh, diameter is 0.2 meter so the radius is the half of the diameter so it will be 0.1 and it will be the square of the 0.1 right pi r square uh, okay uh, so uh, and i'll make uh, i'll close these parentheses okay and click okay so we are done with this uh, uh, the uh, equation and the uh, drag force and now i can uh, go to a global mesh and i can increase or decrease these settings uh, if i increase this so uh, it will take uh, uh, more time uh, but it will also give some accurate result right but i think it's uh, it's up to you right uh, click ok and now uh, let's say i'll go to run and i'll run this study uh, it is asking uh, let's say uh, how many cores that uh, this uh, uh, simulation will take so i'll use all and uh, okay uh, click run and it will calculate my uh, uh, simulation and uh, it is uh, calculating uh, 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 some graphical plots a uh, velocity plot on the front plane and uh, it is also calculating uh, the uh, plot uh, the uh, uh, coefficient uh, and the force the drag force and uh, drag coefficient uh, it is calculating as you can see that the calculation is uh, ongoing and uh, uh, we can uh, let's say uh, i'll go to insert and i'll go to summary and here is the summary of this uh, uh, simulation and this uh, uh, this is the uh, uh, bounding box or this is the size of the domain and uh, these are the boundary conditions uh, um, uh, ambient temperature uh, static pressure uh, velocities remember i have used uh, velocity in uh, uh, x direction only and uh, these are some of the uh, basic setting this is the formula of uh, the uh, drag uh, coefficient right so these are the basic settings and just close this and let's say uh, uh, i'll go to goal uh, plot and i can uh, uh, plot uh, CD the, uh, that is the uh, coefficient or the drag force or any other thing uh, but I think it's okay because I have already plotted this uh, graph the uh, uh, gra uh, goal plot one so it will take some time and these are the iterations and I think uh, it is uh, one uh, one uh, one one iterations and uh, it is still calculating and after the cal uh, uh, after the simulation uh, it will make uh, a, a excel file and it will uh, uh, automatically uh, uh, generate uh, some uh, useful graphs uh, so uh, we are almost uh, done with this uh, uh, simulation and uh, this is the velocity plot i can uh, plot uh, like uh, uh, pressure or velocity or uh, 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 any other thing i want so uh, uh, solver is finished and now i can cancel this and uh, now i uh, i can go to results and uh, let's say we have uh, so many options uh, i can hide this uh, uh, box this domain so go to computational domain and th uh, this was the domain i was uh, talking about just hide this and now i'll go to let's say uh, cut plots and i'll go to insert and this is the uh, front plane as a reference and uh, contours pressure and it will calculate the pressure uh, you can calculate velocity uh, temperature pressure etc so it is calculating pressure click ok so here is the pressure plot and uh, <coughs> it is a constant so let's change it so that you can uh, uh, visualize it uh, let's go to insert and this time let's say uh, i'll go to uh, uh, I'll take this uh, velocity in x direction. Uh, click OK, and uh, okay. Still, it is showing nothing because uh, it is overlapping. So I'll go to hide this first cut plot. And now uh, you can see the different contours. Uh, you can play the animation, uh, right? Uh, you can see these uh, uh, contours are changing. Uh, just hide this. Uh, stop and uh, hide this uh, now i'll go to let's say the trajectory 
uh, where is the yeah where is the uh, flow trajectories go to insert and uh, uh, i uh, i'll select all uh, all faces right and uh, uh, i'll make this uh, number of points 200 and uh, this uh, will be 20 uh, arrows or spheres uh, i think arrows are fine and uh, i i'll calculate velocity you can calculate anything you want uh, you can calculate pressure temperature and uh, etc uh, there are many parameters uh, okay uh, so it will take some time and it will make uh, some uh, uh, trajectory i think uh, i'll go to uh, flow trajectories again and i'll decrease this number go to edit definition and i'll decrease this number uh, i think 10 is fine uh, okay so now i can uh, animate this uh, go to uh, flow trajectories and uh, go to play settings i can increase or decrease this here as well and uh, i can play this animation so it is a beautiful animation and uh, this is the velocity uh, trajectory and uh, the air is uh, uh, flowing over this uh, cylinder and uh, okay uh, I can save this animation and uh, say I'll stop this uh, so uh, here you can make animation you can uh, plot uh, reports uh, in uh, word format and you can make uh, surface parameters you can uh, make surface plots uh, cut plots and here are the uh, uh, let's say I want to discuss a very important thing go to goal plots go to insert and click all uh, this is the uh, drag force and this is the uh, drag coefficient so uh, it will make a excel file uh, containing uh, graphs so first uh, I'll click this box show and uh, here is the uh, drag coefficient value 2.574 and here is the drag force so just cancel this and I want uh, these graphs so just go to export to excel and it will export uh, my graph my data to excel just cancel this and here are all uh, here are uh, all these values average value minimum value maximum value and here is the uh, uh, dime, uh, coefficient of drag or drag coefficient here is the force and here uh, is the uh, iteration points uh, data points so uh, just cancel this and uh, just cancel this as well uh, so that's it for uh, today's uh, uh, tutorial i hope you like it and if you have any questions uh, one uh, important thing uh, that is i can uh, generate its report as well go to report create and uh, i can uh, let's say go to from template and uh, from uh, flow simulation report click ok and it will generate you a very uh, good report right you can make some changes if you want and uh, right i can decrease this so that you can uh, see clearly uh, so here is your project report you can change name date uh, logo data etc here is the uh, table of content and uh, so it is very useful and very easy to make uh, uh, these reports in uh, uh, solidworks here is the x direction uh, velocity here is the temperature here is the static pressure uh, so uh, here is the uh, equation uh, drag equation so uh, that's it for uh, today's uh, tutorial i hope you like it let's cancel this you can save this report as well uh, I hope you like it. If you have any questions, any queries related to this tutorial or any other tutorial in my list, uh, you can ask in comment section. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for more informative and interesting projects in Cadible. Thank you.